Jump up, destiny's calling. You and your friends have so much to share. Swinging through life on this great adventure, the spirit of nature will see you through. There are lessons to learn about life and its mysteries, lessons of love that are waiting for you. Look up. There's joy all around you. Nature is wondrous, but beware. The law of the jungle has a lesson for life. But you can still soar right up to the sky. Hold your head up high. Keep your courage inside. Then sure as the sun and the stars up above, you will discover. Our home is a tiny little planet floating all by itself in the vast space of the great universe. There are many animals living on this planet, all doing their best to survive. Some are meat-eating animals, and others eat fruit and plants, but they all live together in harmony. We are all creatures living together on this little planet, this little planet we call the Earth. So human beings and wild animals have to learn to get along with each other, and we must not spoil the beautiful jungle for some foolish advantage of our own. Now, now, my dear. I think that's a little difficult for him to understand. Ah, <laughs> oh, look, he's fallen asleep. Sound asleep in the middle of the jungle, miles from civilization. He's still too young to be afraid of anything. Our boy is going to be a friend of this jungle. When he grows up, I'm sure he will carry on with our work of protecting nature. <sighs> now, let's go and collect some soil and water samples while he's still sleeping. Have a good sleep, my child. The air and water seem so fresh and pure out here, don't they? Well, I won't be able to answer that until I analyze the samples back to university. If that pollution is spread as far as this jungle, it'll be very serious. Tabaki! Tabaki! Here I am. I smell a human in the jungle. Go and find him. Oh, but, but you wouldn't catch a human, would you? 
It is against our law. It is against the law of the jungle. I make the laws in my hunting ground. Now go! Yes, Shere Khan. I understand. <laughs> Well, just try and behave yourself. You're very lucky that I'm a good python, or you wouldn't be here right now. There's no such thing as good pythons and bad pythons. Uh -huh. It depends on whether your stomach is empty or full. Now, now, Baloo, who do you think you're speaking to? I know the law of the jungle. What would become of me if I were to start hunting humans? So this is the man cub. I've never seen one up so close before. Hmm. <laughs> oh, cute little critter, isn't he? All animals are cute when they're cubs, but he'll be a danger to the jungle when he grows up. I'm afraid you're right. His parents must be looking for him. We'd better take him back to them before he gets us into trouble, Ka. Yes, that's a good idea. Go ahead. Ka, wait. Where are you going? Me. Huh? Oh. He's yours now. You can do what you want. But uh, I don't know what to do with him. I'll go and find Bagheera. He knows a lot about human creatures. Promise me that you'll bring him right back. And you won't fall asleep on the way, will you? I'll try not to. Uh, oh, a little boy. My little boy, where is he? Where is he? What's the matter? Isn't he here? I left him sleeping in the tent in his crib. He oh. must have wandered off into the jungle. to see you. What do you want? We found a man-cub here in the jungle. A man-cub came to a place like this? That's right. Baloo has him now, but we should get him out of the jungle before he causes trouble. We thought you might know what to do. Because I was once looked after by humans? Yes, but in spite of that, everyone in the jungle thinks of you as a friend. I don't need any friends. Now, Bagheera. Shere Khan! Yes, I think your man-cub is already causing trouble. Now what? Find the cub's parents before Shere Khan does, and chase them out of the jungle. What about the cub? I have other things to think about. Why does everything always happen at once? Those birds mean trouble. Shere Khan's coming. You, boy! Wake up! Wake up, I said! We have to move! 
Done with Mowgli. Where is he? Answer me. Answer me. Where is he? Oh. Another wild beast coming closer. What about Mowgli? We can do nothing without a rifle. We must run away. But my son. We'll come back again. I promise you that. Back to the camp. <laughs> Shere Khan! I found them! Two humans! Going to enjoy hunting humans. Mm -hmm. Who's there? If you hunt humans, they will strike back in force. Bagheera. That's why it is forbidden for predators like us to hunt them. You know the law of the jungle, or don't you? Do you think I care? No, I don't. That's why I'm warning you. Go hunt rabbits or something. What did you say? Shere Khan, the humans are running. They're getting away. Bagheera, if you want to stop me, you have to get down out of that tree. <laughs> Why do I waste my time? run faster. They're so slow. Bagheera, come down here. Bagheera! Shere Khan! Huh? I've just caught the scent of another human. A cub. A cub? Where's Shere Khan? He must have given up the chase. Huh? Ah! A black panther! Go away! Ah! Oh, oh, oh dear, how terrible. Where are you off to, Baloo? <laughs> to Backy. Out of my way. I'm in a hurry. Oh. Hmm. Well, well, so that's what a man cub looks like. <laughs> hmm? Hmm. Oh, you. Oh. Now, little boy, go home. <laughs> that way. <laughs> Straight ahead. No, Tabaki. I won't let you attack humans in the jungle. Huh? Uh oh. Shere Khan. Hmm. 
It's a man cub. What's it doing here? Poor thing. He must have lost its way. <laughs> he isn't frightened at all. <gasps> Look, he's feeding, just like our own two cubs are. He certainly is a hungry little fellow. Isn't he, though? Uh-oh, that sounds like Shere Khan. Get the cubs inside, the lair, Lurie. Yes, dear. I smell a man cub. I've come to claim my prize. This is not your hunting ground. Get out of here! I tracked him here. I want him. You're not getting him! How? How dare you disobey? How dare you? Give me that man cub. No, I won't. From now on, he's part of my family. Your family? Go away now. Leave us alone, Shere Khan. Ah, I'm warning you, Alexander. I'll make you pay for this. That man cub belongs to me. I'll never give him up. Do you really mean we can keep him? You've already decided to keep him, haven't you, dear? Oh, yes. I want to. So you want to adopt this man cub into our wolf pack? <laughs> man is not a wolf. <laughs> He's bound to cause a lot of trouble. Yeah, he's no got worry. a point. Okay. Shere Khan was chasing him, so his parents must be dead. Mm. <laughs> you know very well what would happen to him if we left him alone now. <laughs> yes, but Shere Khan will cause trouble. Yes, let's throw the boy in the river. <laughs> uh oh. Let us make a decision in accordance with the law. As you all know, he needs the recommendation of at least two members of the pack, not counting his adoptive parents, of course, before we can even consider accepting him as one of us. Who will recommend him? Speak up! Oh, dear. Ah, so the man cup is safe. Oh. I would be more than happy to give him my recommendation. Oh. Oh. Silence! Baloo is a good friend. He teaches our cubs the law of the pack. We should listen carefully to anything he has to say. Thank you very much, Akela. Listen, everyone. A man cub will not harm us. I can assure you. All he wants to do is play like our own wolf cubs. As you can clearly see, he has no fangs and no claws. There is no reason at all for you to be afraid of him. Thank you, Baloo. Well... I must say, I really admire him for his courage. But you need another recommendation. May I speak? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Bagheera, you? Yes, I know. I have no right to speak at your meeting. But according to the law, the wolf pack is entitled to accept a gift, a fresh game in exchange for a stranger. That is correct, Bagheera. What will you do with the man cub? I am sure Baloo will take care of him. Won't you, Baloo? Who, me? Mm -hmm. Will you trade him for a water buffalo? Oh, no. Be quiet. But why, Bagheera? I'm afraid his parents have perished. Did you catch them? <gasps> no. 
but it was all my fault. Oh. Now listen, everyone. Bagheera was trying to stop Shere Khan from hunting humans in the jungle. And that was how the dreadful accident happened. And you know why he did it, don't you? <laughs> you didn't want to bring trouble to us here in the jungle. Isn't that right, Bagheera? I did what I felt like. Now, Bagheera, you don't have to be so modest. What Alexander said is quite right. What's your answer? Do you accept the exchange or not? Akela? I'm listening. Bagheera is a good friend who acted for the good of the jungle. We will spare the life of the cub for his offer of game. Anyone who objects can come up here. <laughs> now this man cub can be admitted as a true member of our wolf pack. <laughs> but what will we call him? I heard what his parents called him. It was Mowgli. Mowgli, that's a nice name. Go on, Mowgli, thank Baloo and Bagheera. <laughs> A child is learning 